Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Mice is here. Oh, lighting's kind of weird in here, right? It looks kind of dark. Let's see if I move in closer. Hey, okay. Really short video on this one. This is 1 2C on finding zero. So I only got a couple of examples here, but I want to split them up so I didn't have one gi gi ginormous video, okay? So here we go. Let me make myself smaller and then we'll keep get going here, all right? So we've got finding zeros without using a calculator. So with zeros, are written using single values x equals x equals x equals 5 x equals 2 however when we're looking at x intercepts those are written using ordered pairs 2 comma 0 5 comma 0 is very important that you understand the difference between those right and when we're losing using the calculator to find zeros it's going to give us the x intercepts but if it's asking for the zero we're actually going to just write it as x equals so let's take a look at a couple of examples here without using a calculator finding the zeros so all we're going to do is set this equal to zero set our function equal to zero and if you're looking at me and i'm shaking it's because uh because i'm nervous no i'm sorry it's because uh my tablet wasn't quite steady here so i'm gonna set this equal to zero and then i'm just gonna factor this guy now if you have trouble factoring you should go to one of my videos on how to factor and get some review on that. And we've got x equals 4, x equals negative 1. Let's take a look at the second one. We're going to set this equal to 0. Now, whenever we have a uh, fraction here, like a, a, a rational expression or rational function here set equal to zero we have to be cognizant that this is going to give us some vertical asymptotes or some domain restrictions in this case there are no domain restrictions because it doesn't matter what x equals there i'm never going to get zero in the denominator so really all i'm looking at is the numerator the numerator is really going to show us where our zeros are so we're going to simplify this here for our problem which is just solving for x set this equal after we set this equal to zero, I will bring the four over, take the plus or minus square root, and I get plus or minus two. All right. Again, we would have to say, you know, this doesn't really matter here um, because this would give us domain restrictions. Okay. So we don't set that part, the bottom equal to zero. We only worry about the top, all right? So there are a couple examples of finding zeros without a calculator, basically using some algebra techniques. Just set it equal to zero, solve for x. All right, guys, that is what I went over. I'll catch you next time.